For this person, the journey to becoming a trend-setting hot rod industry professional actually began on two wheels. As a kid, he raced BMX bikes, and in true hot rod fashion, he took his bike apart and treated it to a custom paint job, one that better reflected his personality. With the guidance of his uncle, he graduated to go-karts, and eventually, full-size circle track racing around his home state of Alabama, a pursuit that not only provided an adrenaline rush, but many more opportunities to enhance his metalworking and race car painting skills. He's quoted as saying, you fix them up, you go out racing, and you fix them up again. Racing is a passion he still enjoys whenever he can. Those early experiences have led to more than a decade of working in the collision repair shop of a local dealership, while also working on custom and hot rod projects in his home shop. He got a taste for the industry's bright lights when he displayed a custom Honda CRX in the Koenig wheel booth at the 2001 SEMA show. Our award winner and his wife eventually started a business of their own, buying an old body shop and officially opening their doors on April Fool's Day of 2004. But they were definitely serious. The shop initially did some collision work in addition to hot rods and they eventually transitioned to strictly custom work, saying it was far more fun to build hot rods than fight with insurance companies. You think? Fueled by a steady diet of Dr. Pepper and Little Debbie pinwheels, this builder set out to make his mark on the hot rod world. A personal 1960 Ford Starliner project served as a stepping stone for our award winner, showing prospective customers his shop's capabilities, not only in first-rate bodywork and paint, but also for the fabrication details and skills to compete and complete top-quality ground-up builds. Before long, shop projects ranging from early street rides to cutting-edge street machines were earning magazine features and major awards at all kinds of shows. Over the past two decades, our winter shop has built a steady stream of trend-setting rides including AMBR contenders, Good Guys Top 12 award winners, NSRA and Good Guys giveaway vehicles, and SEMA show standouts like the winner of last year's HRIA Evolution of Hot Rodding Award. But his love for hot rodding goes far beyond the cars. He's a visible and enthusiastic advocate for the industry, regularly attending events all across the country. Going to shows is more than just business as he loves spending time with his hot rod family and friends, sourcing swap meets for vintage Joe Camel and mermaid treasures, and checking out the latest creations from other shops. He continually gives back to the industry by helping fellow builders with advice and assistance, supporting initiatives like the Careers in Hot Rodding program by Good Guys, and the ASC Education Foundation and encouraging young enthusiasts through the Good Guys Next Generation Awards. Simply put, our Person of the Year is a dynamic, hard-working, dedicated, and influential professional who invests his time, energy, and talent into the industry that we all love. Please help me congratulate the 2023 Person of the Year, and one heck of a guy, Jonathan Coolsby of Coolsby Company. history there. Um, I don't have a whole lot of people here today because they're out moving cars around so nobody's going to believe that this actually happened. <laughs> um, 
that was a big old mug shot right there. Uh, I'd say with HRA that um, they've done a lot for the company, me, uh, this whole hot rod industry is a big family for me. I remember years back um, coming to this, I felt like I snuck in the back door, you know, and I'm sitting at the back and the table and seeing all the big peers that I always looked up to, you know, I think Bobby Allo is here and Johnson and all the big companies that, you know, I never thought we'd be friends with or even know who to call about. And now I get to sneak up on the stage, it seems like. Um, but, uh, you know, HRA did a big thing towards one of our first cars we had um, for the banquet, and we were an alternate car. And uh, we went in, in here with the car, but we actually met Low Car, and that ended up making a relationship there. And that was kind of a big stepping stone. So, uh, you know, I give HRA, HRA uh, a big plug for getting me where I'm at today, and, and all the people in the at home, the shop, the family, the wife, and, and making all of it happen, and all the good people here that just are family to me. Thanks. He just whispered in my ear, this is unreal. <laughs> it's happening, my friend, right now. <laughs> awesome. Okay, we've got another major